The development and use of drones is dramatically reshaping the nature of warfare. Being able to detect drones is the difference between life and death. Which is why research into passive radar systems is more important now than ever. So the main benefits of passive radar is that we are making the covert operation. So it means that we, we are not able to be detected by others because we do not emit any energy. And nowadays on battlefield, it's very important to be silent, to have a covert operation. So when you are observing someone who is emitting, it can be really quickly detected by the alien systems. And when it's detected by the alien system, it will be really quickly destroyed by the enemies. The NATO Science and Technology Organization gathered experts in Germany to demonstrate the effectiveness of passive radar systems in detecting drones. We will do a lot of recordings. We will figure out how to set up our systems that we can better detect drones and low-flying targets, small targets. We want to use passive and active radars together. We will have a fighter aircraft during the trial. Passive radar systems work by detecting and analyzing signals from sources that transmit radio frequency signals, such as radio and TV stations and cell phone towers, among others. Passive radars don't send out their own signals like traditional radar. They listen to existing broadcast signals in the area. In the simplest case, the system has two antennas, a reference antenna which points directly at the source of illumination to hear the signal, and a surveillance antenna which points outwards to listen for reflections of that signal bouncing off objects such as airplanes or vehicles. If a drone was flying, some of the signal would bounce off that drone and reach the surveillance antenna. The radar then compares the original signal with the reflected signal and is able to tell where the drone is and how fast it's moving. In order to get a total 3D picture of a region, it's necessary to use multiple transmitter-receiver pairs. Each transmitter-receiver pair localizes a target in a bistatic ellipsoid domain. Using multiple transmitter-receiver pairs allows for the localization of the target in 3D space by the intersection of each ellipsoid. So we want to measure the X, Y, Z position of the target. In that case, we are using not uh, one bistatic pair of transmitter and receiver, but we are using more pairs and so we can use few transmitters. And in this case, we are making like bistatic ellipsoids, which are making intersection and we have the precise localization of the target in Cartesian domain, so X, Y, Z. So mainly in this field trial, we were responsible for organizing the drone flights and for different uh, test cases for the low altitude and low RCS target detection. We are uh, operating our system in three different uh, flight zones and trying to detect not only single targets, but multiple targets flying close to each other in different formation. We have uh, very promising results in these scan areas as well. It's a great opportunity because uh, systems from uh, research uh, entities, from academia and companies are working together and are able to compare and to learn from each other. I think that uh, this kind of systems will help the NATO in the future because those are quite cost efficient. They have a good surveillance capability and uh, of course better uh, survivability in battlefield than we, with uh, traditional or conventional active radars. Anything that can help with covert kind of detection will aid NATO in a way that hopefully we can protect personnel and our own assets more efficiently than an opponent. So in that way losing less assets ourselves in a potential conflict.